Look at all these socks in the floor. They could only belong to one person. This man. Why do you leave your socks on the floor? It gives new meaning to the phrase, sock it to me? Hello again, I'm Nick and this is Greg. He's my handsome husband. And uh, we're here doing what a lot of other gay YouTubers have done, and a lot of other YouTubers in general have done. It's usually called the boyfriend tag, but since we're married, it's, it becomes the husband tag. And it's a little fun test to see how much we know each other. Do you think you know me? I would think so after this long. <laughs> after being together over 12 years, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we've forgotten something. Stay tuned. Okay, when did we meet and where? Well, it was at your apartment on, well, the first time we met in person was at your apartment on the ETSU campus. It was, what was it, some January 05? Yeah, January, <laughs> you remember. I remember he come over, it was a rainy night. It's a rainy Tuesday. And uh, we sat in my bedroom and watched game shows, mm -hmm. and uh, had a great night. Did we did we eat that night too? I assume we did. I think we had snacks. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think, did we order a pizza? Maybe. Yeah, we ordered a pizza. I've forgotten about that. Probably Domino's. I mean, what other great pizza can you get uh, for for cheap? I guess Papa John's maybe. Uh, where, when was our first kiss? Oh my goodness. I remember this one. So, it, it goes in line with our first date story. Uh, oddly enough, it was uh, Good Friday of 2005. We had a half day of class, and we decided to come here to Knoxville and spend the afternoon together. And we were going home and got stuck in traffic on Interstate 40 uh, between Knoxville and Sevierville and there was a vehicle fire and they had the road completely shut down and we were stuck in traffic so we got to talking and I, lo I looked in your eyes and you looked in my eyes and we just had the most gobsmacking awesome kiss you could ever imagine right there in the middle of the interstate <laughs> Now, if that isn't a memorable first kiss, I don't know what is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're still just as handsome today as you were then. You know? mm -hmm. All right, my turn. Who said I love you first? Um, I think that was you. I think I was afraid to for a while. You, you were afraid? Mm -hmm. I believe that. This guy is a little scared sometimes. He's shy. Well, I was still figuring out my feelings. <laughs> I I don't know what made me say I love you first, but I don't know. I guess I just felt it. <laughs> you know? I've been through a few not so good relationships, but this guy had something special that I had never found before. Where does my family come from? Uh, well, I mean, you're from Southwest Virginia. Yeah. I guess your dad's family is mainly from that area. Yeah. And didn't you say your your mom's family is from out west? Yes, from Oregon, uh, somewhere north of Portland. Uh, south Umpqua, to be exact. If you know where that is, bonus points to you. What is the one thing you wish I didn't do? Now, the, the one... The one thing who wishes who didn't. What is the one thing you wish I didn't do? Well, I saw she didn't lose her temper so often. <laughs> yes, I do tend to lose my temper. Uh, I I I work at a local TV station, and I won't go into detail on that. But needless to say, I get rather worked up sometimes. <laughs> 
Uh, sometimes I might get mad at someone else or I, get, I might get mad at myself for making a silly mistake, you know, but I, I have done better in the past, in the past little while. Yeah. Oh, I, I used to have a real bad temper when I was a teenager. It got me in trouble more often than not. <laughs> what eye color did you wish I had? I never put, really put any stock into uh, eye color, you know? I tend to like someone on based on their whole appearance, you know? I'm not, I'm not real big on appearance anyway, but these, these brown eyes right here, they're the most adorable brown eyes, and he can give you the sad puppy dog look on cue, like that. Oh, no, no. What dressing do I always use? As in salad dressing? I guess so. Uh, no, dressing as in clothes. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. You're, you like blue cheese and you like ranch. Yeah, those are my favorites. He loves Thousand Island. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's, a, he's crazy about Thousand Island. He'll, he'll go back and forth between different brands of Thousand Island. When, well, when they're we all to... slightly different in, in terms of how they're you know, the different mix of ingredients. Yes. Uh, what is my shoe size? We just bought some shoes a couple weeks ago. You should know, and I, I tried on like three different sizes. Uh, uh, a 10. Yeah. Yes. Do you know mine? Um, I think around a 13. Yeah. Yeah, I bought a 14 a couple of times just because shoes are weird. Shoes are really weird. I don't think two shoe manufacturers actually do the same size. That's why, that's why I don't like buying shoes online. No, you do. Give me a shoe store any day. What am I afraid of? I don't know, you don't like bugs. Ooh, no, I don't. Ooh. If I see a bug in the house, I scream. And I'm not talking about a, a Fay Ray kind of scream in King Kong. I'm just like, I'm, I'm not going to try to. You have to be there. Usually I'm the one that ends up having to kill it. Yeah. I'll... What's my favorite sandwich? I don't know. You like lots of different sandwiches. <laughs> yes, I do. I love lots of sandwiches. It's gotten me into a lot of trouble. I don't think you have a favorite sandwich either. I like ham, I like turkey, I like all kinds of things. What would I eat every day if I could? Uh, peanut butter sandwiches. That That is his favorite sandwich. Going back to the other question. His mom made him a peanut butter sandwich every day for his school lunch. That's a side fact. What is my favorite song? I'm not sure. You're not sure? No. We, we discussed what our song was just recently. I'm not sure. I always loved the movie Saturday Night Fever. And I'm really partial to the song uh, How Deep Is Your Love. And I always pictured that that could be our song. But he doesn't dance, let alone go to a disco. There's not many discos left. But I, I always, I always imagine dancing to that song on a dance floor, either that one or, or more than a woman. I always loved that scene in the movie and always dreamed of taking the one I love onto a dance floor and dancing to that song just like they did in the movie. I can dream, can I? Whoa, hold it, stop, stop. I, I lied. I forgot what our song was. I'm sorry. No, uh, we love the BG stuff, but our real song is from this soundtrack on Her Majesty's Secret Service. It's a song we have all the time in the world by Louis Armstrong. I've when I first played that song for Greg, had you heard it before? No. No, you never heard it before. But it's one of the sweetest songs, and if you ever listen to it, uh, it it really signifies our relationship. And we do have all the time in the world. <laughs> and while our story won't end up as tragically as James Bond did in that movie, yeah, but unfortunately in, in this uh, husband tag video, yeah, it's husband tag fail. You know, this one 
that's not going to apply to me. But uh, it can apply to me. It's okay. Uh, my sports team. My well, my sports team, Atlanta United, unite and conquer. We are united. End of story. What is my eye color? Don't look. Um, kind of a greenish hazel, I think. Greenish hazel? Yeah. I gotta give them a closer look. Hi. Yes, greenish hazel. Yes. <laughs> and as he's brown. The brownest brown you could imagine. Almost black. Almost black. Uh, what's my favorite cake? Ooh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You love chocolate cake. Yeah. You don't get to have a lot of chocolate cake. No. No. I'm diabetic, so yeah. I have to be careful. Right. Uh, do you like yellow cake? No, no, it's fine. Well, one of those two then. And I like any kind of cake. You can make me a rainbow cake with sparkles and glitter. I like that too. What kind of books do I like? You don't read a lot, usually it's just like non-fiction, like behind the scenes of TV shows and such. Yes, I love, I love the inside story. If I love a show, I love to hear the production tales. Always have, always will. Same for movies. That's all the questions we have. Uh, I think we did know a lot about each other. Yeah. Yeah, we remember a lot. Maybe we'll have another good video to see how we how well we know each other or do something crazy or whatever. It'll probably be me doing something crazy. He doesn't like to do a lot of crazy things. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye! You're always on my mind. Well